Hey, yourself. So you've been doing some research recently on conservative ways to communicate. Specifically, these are articles that were talking about various studies that were like, how do liberals like to communicate? How do conservatives like to communicate? And it's been really inspiring because I've been interested in understanding this differences in communication to become a better communicator myself. Specifically, I feel like not only could I be better at expressing a message to someone who's conservative, as I am more of a liberal-leaning person, I'll also be better at understanding conservative ideas. This is just going to be useful in general because, I mean, if you look at the recent political experience of the election, the world definitely is split in America on conservative ideals versus liberal ideals, and it would be really good to have a better understanding of how does each side think, and I'll learn a little bit about myself and learn about someone else. The first study that I ran into was one that was talking about lucky streaks. Specifically, its goal was to create an apolitical example to have conservative-minded people and liberal-minded people discuss and see how these two sides really think. And it was done by discussing lucky streaks. This is where, you know, you roll a die and if you get a six a hundred times in a row, that's like a lucky streak. Alright, so in this research project, they had a statistician explain lucky streaks and how human beings naturally will see patterns in random numbers, but it's not actually a streak, it just happens to do that sometimes. And then there was also a floor boss, you know, a person who works within a casino who says like, yeah, I've seen lucky streaks happen. And then there was also just this random comment, basically a no-name individual that was supposed to represent something you'd see on the internet. So what was found is if you're more liberal-leaning thinking, you consider the statistician's ideas and statistics to be more valid than you did the floor boss or the random comment. If you're more conservative-leaning, you found those two things, the floor boss and the random comment, to be more equal. That's an interesting point there, more equal. You still found that the statistician was likely very smart and seemed to know what they were talking about, but it was not considered the final like, yeah, so it's interesting to me because it kind of makes sense from the perspective of something like people who feel afraid in their home. Like I feel really safe in my home and statistics show that crime is going down, for example. Well, that would then align. But if someone was saying, well, I feel unsafe in my home and you go, hey, look at these statistics that show crimes going down. Well, that person will be like, I don't feel it that way. I don't feel safe. So that's a really interesting mindset. A way that I could kind of change the way that I could communicate there could be like, well, I feel safe in my home. And so both of us are suddenly like, well, now we're having more of the story. Let's look at the statistics. This is the concept. It's where anecdotal feelings are also important as much as a statistic is. For me as a liberal minded person, I look at statistics as a series of anecdotes. And I can understand though that they don't really have the same narrative emotional connection. And so I think that's something that I'm going to use. I'm going to be paying attention to make sure that I bring in my anecdotes.